I'll be sharing you my 7 days or 1 week experience using the ordinary products. There is so much love to give. Something's telling me it's right. When you came to me, oh, I knew it's you, yeah, boy. The one to show me now. Everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maymay. For today, I'll be sharing you my seven days or one week experience using the ordinary products without using any other brand. Ito nga specific na lang tayo. Ito yung bago nila no? or new the balance set from the ordinary. So actually, meron siyang apat na laman. Unang una, ipapakita ko na siya sa inyo. Nilagay ko lang siya inside the box no, pero nagamit ko na to. Unang una, it has squalene cleanser. Ito siya. Itong squalane cleanser is actually really good. Most especially if you have dry skin. If you have dry and sensitive skin, this can really help you. Especially katulad sa akin, sensitive yung skin ko. Maganda siya without any harsh effect or irritation. Hindi siya nagkaroon sa akin. This formula incorporates squalane and also um, lipophilic esters which is actually effective for cleansing yung ating mga impurities sa skin and also this is very gentle and also moisturizes the skin and actually kapag ginamit nyo siya guys mayroon siyang balm like consistency you have to put it in your palm and then you have to rub it for 10 to 30 seconds and then mag to turn siya or mag change siya into um, oil like consistency and saka mo siya ipang cleanse sa iyong face and actually I do really love this cleanser this is very gentle gentle. But guys, kung meron kayong heavy makeup talaga, I think this is not enough. That's the cons, no? Kailangan talaga niya ng maraming product or lots of product para ma-cleanse yung face ninyo kung meron kayong makeup. If you are not wearing makeup, this is enough na. Pero if you are wearing makeup, then you can do double cleansing first with this product or with this cleanser and then you can use your preferred product for the second cleanser, no? And then, ang next naman niya is itong si... The Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. This is formulated for blemish-prone skin or for acne-prone skin. Actually, if you have acne-prone skin or you are suffering from um, hormonal acne or pimples, this is really good. Actually, I only use it for once a week because my skin is really sensitive and dry. So, it can cause dryness and skin irritation if very sensitive yung skin ninyo. So, I really recommend na gamitin nyo lang ito or use it once a week lang. Ganon, huwag nyo siyang gamitin ng more than twice a week. Salicylic acid from the ordinary is infused with charcoal and also clays which is actually good for um, unclogging pores and also it has deep cleansing abilities na talaga namang maganda lalo na kung may acne prone skin kayo. Or katulad sa akin, I'm actually suffering from hormonal acne once in a while so ito talaga nakakatulong talaga siya sa akin but I only use it once a week. It can actually cause yung um, parang peeling, mild peeling or um, micro peeling. So if you have a very sensitive skin and also you have compromised skin or meron ka mga peeling skin don't use this mask kasi it can actually irritate your skin so kung kunwari gumagamit din kayo ng rejuvenating set, please 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 don't use yung salicylic mask ng The Ordinary, kailangan mag heal muna yung face ninyo and wala kayong ganun bago kayo gumamit nito to avoid yung um, pagkakaroon ng side effects or skin irritation and again guys, before using any product please don't forget to do patch test just to make sure na hiyang kayo the next one is the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% this is actually one of the most popular serum from the ordinary products or the ordinary line and actually I will do another um, review of this product next week yung niacinamide plus zinc has high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. I do really love this product. It can make your skin glow, can avoid yung pagkakaroon ng pimples. It's really good for acne prone skin. But ito guys ha, just a reminder, the ordinary has 10% niacinamide and this might 
cause um, irritation or dryness kung meron kayong skin na sensitive. So, you have to really moisturize your skin to avoid any irritation or dryness. And always do patch test again. So, yung niacinamide is really one of the best ingredients pagdating talaga sa mga skincare products. This serum is actually indicated to reduce the appearance of blemishes and also kung meron din kayong mga clogged pores, nakakatulong din siya. And also hydrating to sa skin, no? But again, guys, we have different um, skin types and sa akin, nag-cause siya ng dry skin especially dito sa part na to kaya I have to use extra, extra moisturizer just to avoid yung pagkakaroon ko ng dry skin but for me, I do really love this product ang last naman is itong The Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA actually yung product nito meron siyang multiple amino acids and also fatty acids meron din siyang ceramides which is actually really really good sa skin especially if you have acne prone or dry skin Kung sa Pilipinas, siguro enough siya. Pero kung nasa mga lugar kayo na sobrang dry or winter yung panahon katulad ngayon or weather, this is not enough to hydrate your skin. So now, I will show you yung 7 days experience ko of using this product. Day 1, meron akong mga pimples talaga. I do have lots of pimples during the day 1. Actually, ito talaga as in sobra talagang nagkaroon ako ng pimples. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. <laughs> Pero I think yun na yung week siguro na magkaka-period ako. Hello guys! So today yung first day ko nagagamit ng The Balance Set ng Ordinary. And as you can see, sobrang dami kong sumpa ngayon. As in, dito wala. Pero ewan ko kung bakit dito talaga ako tinatadtad. Ayan siya. So tingnan natin guys kung makakatulang ba tong si The Ordinary sa aking face. Ayan. So during the first day, I don't experience any tingling sensation. During the second day, after using squalane cleanser, I used the salicylic acid mask. And I'll show you yung video kung paano ko siya ginamit. So this is the salicylic acid mask. And this is the first time that I'm going to use this. So yan. So yan na siya guys. I will wait for 10 minutes bago ko siya i-rinse. I used the salicylic acid mask for 10 minutes. Actually, I experienced mild tingling sensation while using yung salicylic acid. After ko siyang i-rinse, maganda siya sa skin ko. Nakita ko na parang medyo nag-tighten pala din yung skin ko. Yung feeling ko medyo tight siya. So, pagdating ng day 3, nagkaroon ako ng medyo tingling sensation sa face ko kapag ginagamit ko yung um, serum. And then, nagkaroon din ako ng bagong pimples. I don't know. Baka medyo nag-purge lang ako at nanibago. nag adjust yung skin ko. So, nagkaroon ako ng maliit na mga, na maliit na pimple sa mukha. And also, nagkaroon ako ng peeling doon sa aking right cheek. Pagdating ng day 4, ito na, nagkaroon na ako ng red alert. May period na ako. So, maybe that's one of the reasons kung bakit nagkaroon ako ng pimples. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung video na tuyo na yung pimples, nag-dry na yung mga pimples ko. And also, pagdating sa paglalagay pa rin ng serum, medyo may konting tingling sensation pa rin while applying yung serum. Room, pero nawawala rin yung tingling sensation, ha?
and also I still experience yung pagkakaroon ng peeling sa aking skin and pero very mild lang magma micro exfoliate talaga yung skin ko while using this set during the day 5, continuous pa rin yung pagkakaroon ng peeling ng skin ko. But again guys, very mild lang or micro exfoliate lang talaga yung nangyayari. Hello, pump 50 ko po ngayon. As you can see, nag-dry yung dito ko. Pero natuyo na yung mga pimples ko except dito. Pero ayan, nag-dry siya guys. Yung day 6 ko, continuous pa rin yung pagpipil ng face ko. Especially, ito yung part talaga na nag-start na lang mag-peel simula pa nung day 5. And so, yung day 6, tuloy-tuloy lang siya na nag-peel around mouth area, surrounding the mouth area, no? Pero yung pero yung pimples ko, as in, natulungan talaga niya para mawala at natuyo na. Wala na rin bagong pimples na lumalabas. Guys, pagdating ng day 7, I do really love it kasi nakatulong talaga siya especially sa um, pimples ko or sa blemishes ko, nag-lighten talaga siya and also naging mas parang radiant talaga yung skin ko. As you can see, yung area na meron akong pimples, nag-clear na siya. Pero syempre may konting pimples pa, hindi naman siya magic na mawawala, no? But nag-lighten talaga siya. Malaki yung naitulong niya para mag-lighten talaga yung skin ko. And then also, ang napansin ko rito is parang naging mas radiant, mas glowing yung skin ko. Pero ang naging problema is mas naging dry siya. I don't know kasi ang weather din dito sa skin. Spain ngayon is winter. So, I think nag-contribute talaga yon kung bakit patuloy din na nag-dry yung skin ko. I think because of the niacinamide, parang yun kasi yung mas nag-contribute ng dryness sa skin ko, no? So, I will make another review next week using yung um, niacinamide serum. It's very gentle sa skin. It doesn't cause my skin to undergo breakouts or hindi rin siya nag-cause ng bonggang bur purging. Because other people can actually purge while using especially yung um, niacinamide because it has high content of niacinamide ang talagang studies na effective siya is 2 to 5% lang and niacinamide ng ordinary has 10% and it can actually cause ng dryness or skin irritation so it's very important to do patch test and also always moisturize your skin but para sa akin sobrang love ko yung the balance set for a whole week it makes my skin clear na hindi ako magkakaroon ng bagong pimples, this is really good, no? Kasi bago yata tong set nila and also mas makakatipid dahil na apat na yung laman niya. Ang alam ko sa Pilipinas, meron yung Beauty Manila, meron silang mga legit na The Ordinary Products. Yun lang mga besties, I hope na nakatulong sa inyo tong review ko. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that you would like to ask, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button at click ang bell button para ma-notify kayo kung meron akong bagong vlog. Bye! See you on my next vlog!